According to the mother, physical education has three main areas discipline and control of body functions, methodical and harmonious development of all parts of the body and all movements of the body, and correction of deformities. Let us now watch a display which incorporates these values by the students of classes 3 to 8 who perform a yoga integrated with dance. First things first, I'ma say all the words inside my head. I'm fired up and tired of the way that things have been. Oh, ooh, the way that things have been. Oh, ooh. Second thing, second, don't you tell me what you think that I can be. I'm the one at the sale, I'm the master of my sea. Oh, ooh, the master of my sea. Oh, ooh. I was broken from a young age, taking my soak into the masses, writing my poems for the few that look at me, took to me, shook at me, feeling me, singing from heartache, from the pain, taking my message from the veins, speaking my lesson from the brain, seeing the beauty through the...
who is our constant inspiration, showed us by example that physical exercise is to be enjoyed and partaken of by all. Our teachers and staff believe in and practice this principle of the mother. Let us now enjoy a display by the teachers and staff of our school. Today, through this humble offering, the teachers of the Future Foundation School have attempted to correlate the significance of flowers given by the mother with a few yogasanas. Some Indian plants commonly found in the southern part of India and some very specific to Auroville have been selected for this purpose. The mother said, The flowers are the prayers of the vegetable world. The plants offer their beauty to the Supreme. Flowers speak to us when we know how to listen to them. It is a subtle and fragrant language. Growing in contact with flowers is also a part of integral yoga. Since the mother used flowers as a help in sadhana, teaching us how to master and transform our lower nature and realize the highest possibilities that await us. Love of flowers can help us to find our own psychic being, the divine 
within us. The word yoga means the union with the divine and the union with the truth. Yoga is a science of spirit and it helps in the realization of the true self. Yoga is an art and science that developed from the core of Sanatana Dharma. The yogic life is the living of a unified, holistic concept that assures positive health, happiness, longevity and spiritual evolution, helping one to acquire beauty of form, suppleness and harmony. The first asana that we are going to present is Pariprita Janu Sirsasana, which reduces stress and anxiety. It represents dynamic power, which is indispensable for progress. And from the natural world, this is represented by Hibiscus Rosa, which we commonly know as China Rose. Next, we move on to Paschim Uttasana. This is conducive to meditation. It calms the mind and body and soothes the nervous system. These qualities are represented by the Mexican creeper. The spiritual significance given by the mother to this flower is harmony. Let us try that the day may come when this will be the means and the goal. Next, we move on to Gomukh Asana, which improves cardiovascular health. The Indian cork tree or tree jasmine represents the qualities of transformation which according to the mother is the goal of creation. We move on to the next flower which is pot marigold and it represents perseverance, the decision to go until the very end. And the asana depicting this quality is Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose. It relieves fatigue and increases focus. We move on to the next asana, Tula Dandasana. It boosts memory and calms the mind. And these qualities are represented by Madagascar Periwinkle. The spiritual significance given by the mother to this flower is progress. The reason why we are on earth. The next asana is Trikonasana. This asana teaches patience through structure and breath awareness. And the qualities are represented by sky blue cluster vine. The spiritual significance given by the mother to this flower is hope, hope that paves life's path. The next asana that we are going to present is Salabhashana. It increases focus and rejuvenates the body. And these qualities are present in the golden shower tree. The mother has named it 
imagination abundant and varied it may be charming but must not be substituted for truth we move on to the last pair of asanas setu bandhasana it relieves stress anxiety and depression it also calms the brain these qualities are represented by bougainvillea yellow and gold and the spiritual significance attributed to this flower is protection of the gods luminous and clear vision and the last asana is pavan muktasana it keeps the heart healthy this asana too can be linked to the bougainvillea yellow and gold which has the spiritual significance of protection of the gods once again luminous and clear vision thank you